hi hello what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we're going to building here ye idhar udhar ki baat chodo pehle mujhe dikhao main don jarvis hu kahan se aa raha hai aur jarvis wala oh my god that's on my android phone and here is it and jarvis is running on my phone but how we run the jarvis on our windows machines or linux or linux or mac but what about in android and in this video we are going to building this one hello jarvis hello sir how may i help you jarvis let me know the date the 18th of september okay let me know the time 12:36 okay open youtube Okay, it's open the YouTube. Jarvis, open Google. Opening Google. Okay, it's also open the Google. Well, you see the demo video, right? Now we're going to build in this application on the top of the Android Studio. But here is one problem. If you see my last video, we are going to be using here one API that's called Speech Synthesis Utils in web, and we're going to do it using JavaScript. But the problem is this API is not supported on Android Web View. Right now, it's not supported on Android Web View. So what can we do right now? Yes, we can host it in a server. Then we can fetch it. We can fetch it in our browser. It can be Chrome. It can be Brave, or it can be Firefox. We can run it on our Android phone. But when the API is available, I mean, it's supported on the Android Web View, we can definitely do that. Now we're going to see that how can we host it in a server, but the server is take money, right? But we are going to do it in a free of cost. We can use the Heroku, but it's better you use the GitHub.io, which one is free to use, right? Now we are going to go on the competitor skin and try to do that. How can we actually do that? Okay, so right now I am in my GitHub repository. This is my GitHub repository. You can also follow me here. So what you need to do here first, you need to create one repository here, and you can see here new repository, right? And after creating one repository, you need to also give here one repository name. So also you need to give here on descriptions. So also click here to add the readme file, and you can give here one repository name. I can give here let's say Jarvis, let's say Jarvis like that, and it is checking for the ability. I'm not going to give here the description. You can also give it here. And simply, I going to click here to create the repository file, and it will op actually create here one repository on my GitHub, right? So you can change your readme file. You can change it. It's up to you. So now, what you need to do actually, you need to upload the file here. You need to upload the file. But what kind of file we are going to upload here? If you check my recent video that I uploaded here, how can I create a Jarvis using JavaScript? We actually use here one file that's called index.html. Make sure that your file should be index.html. When we run this file in a server, it will automatically run the index.html. If your file is looks like that apps.html or main.html, it will not run. Make sure that your file should be index.html. I already talked about that the two times, right? Because this is so much important. Now I'm going to click here to upload the files. And when I click and upload the file, you need to choose the file from here. So I'm going to choose the file from here, and this is my file. So this is my style.css, this is my app.js, this is my avatar, this is my gppy, and this is my index.html file right now. So I'm going to click it to open it, and it will upload all the files in my GitHub repository. So upload after uploading all the files that is regarding here in order to upload this in a server, then what I can do? We are going to simply generate one link for that so that we can access it from our android phone this android phone right you can access it from our ios or even though you can access it from my i mean this phone right you can also access it right from this phone simple nokia phone you can access it right now what are going to do i'm going to keep here to comment changes you can give here comment changes i'm so lazy so i'm not going to do it here so let's keep on the comment changes and it will preprocessing in file Now you can see here your file is ready. It is uploaded. Now we need to convert them 
you need to convert them into one web applications so how can you do that simply go on the settings and on the tab you can see code and the automation you can get actually get here on uh, a column that's called the pages and you need to select here the branch which kind of branch you're going to select that so we have just one branch main branch i'm going to select it here and i'm going to click it to save it right and after saving it it will take maybe one or two minutes to actually generate here on link and your link will be appear on here and after one minute or two minutes later on it will give you a link then just simply copy this link and pass it on your mobile phone right and it will work if you know the android studio i mean if you know how to use the web view in java or flutter you can also try this out because i will try this out that it is not working because this speech synthesis utrs is not working in this cases so that's why this is my plan b right so let's reload it here and check this out okay it's not yet but maybe it will take one minute or two minutes later on then i'll come back again okay well and you can see here your site is live at this link let's click on the link so well so right now my job is in right now in online you can access it from here so let's test this out here right now let's click on here hello jarvis hello sir oh, how may i help you uh, jarvis let me know the date september 17th working fine uh jarvis open youtube opening youtube oh it's also opening the youtube okay that's really fine okay so we already launched our application in the windows application now right now it on my hand and on my android phone so now i'm going to test it out here that is really working here or not so hello jarvis hello sir how may i help you jarvis open youtube opening. and you can see it's opening the youtube right uh, let's uh, open the lock and you can see it opening the youtube on my android phone default one right so let's say jarvis open google opening google it's also opening the google right so let's see another one uh, jarvis let me know the date the 17th of september oh that's really working fine in my mobile phone also so this is how it actually work right so that's it for today now hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe to channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon and i'll be back with the tutorial so till then take care but so in order to making this video they actually my help my friend actually helped me a lot to uh taking this shot so let's go on here <laughs>